Well, hello everybody again. This is Kurt H, the Lazy Farmer, and I'm back with another one hour video. Continuing up where I left off, working plants. Not industries, plants. When I say plants, I mean uh, like the GATX plant that I did in episode one. We're going to continue there, going around, hitting some of the other big plants, some of the uh, larger cement plants, some of the oil production facilities. Things like that. So anyway, we're going to go back and continue where we left off. Let's go ahead. And I want to fire this bad dog up right here. I'm going to be quiet so you guys can hear it as I start her up. I love it. I could have got, probably gotten a little bit closer for you guys, but yay, these MP15s, I love the way they start up. I tell you, it's like, oh my goodness, it's uh, yeah, like old. What were they old? I think, I think the last one was built late 70s, I think. So, all right, let's go ahead. And if you remember last time when we left off, we actually had, let me get my rail driver up here. And car tags up. We've got some cars here. GATXRs. Repair. I'm grabbing two of these. I want to make sure that they're fully bled. We're going to bleed those out. Oh, I need to go back over here. And we're going to close off that angle cock there. Air brake. Okay, the brake pipes are bleeding out. Perfect. We're good to go. We're going to go ahead and come off of the handbrake and let's pull back and get started and stop playing around. Alright, we're going to reverse. Alright, we should be getting into a downhill grade right here so I gotta watch the speed. And also, we're going to be going into this little spur right here. I don't want to get into the yard lead. If I can avoid it, so we'll be doing two cars at a time. And we'll see how many, how many we can get done in this hour. Hopefully, my goal here is to get some, you know, get all these cars sorted, put them into the industries, so that way the industries can turn them. Or this particular plant, the GATX plant repair facility for cars. And then we'll move on and go find another one. I might go out and see. I got another one out there um, that has some tank, basically some tank cars. I got plans. We'll hit some. Get to see, you know, try to get to see as many of the industries as possible. All right, I'm going to pull up as close to the stop here because I want to see if two cars or if I can get three in. I think two might be the limit, but we're going to find out. All right, I got two pounds on the brake cylinder. I'm going to bleed that off, bail it out. Almost a 1% grade right here. Oh, we just topped, went over 1%. So, yeah, we're going to... We have no brakes on the cars themselves, so all the braking can be done through the locomotive here. So I'm going to get into the independent brake. Alright, so, okay, ease. Oh, I got hiccups. So I could probably get a third car. That's good to know. But I really just need to clear this switch here, so definitely get a third, maybe even a fourth. So we'll go three cars next time if we have that opportunity. Uh, this one, like I said, is GATXR, so that one is going to be not the light rail repair facility, but the heavy repair facility, which is down this track right here. All right, so we are lined in. Let's go ahead and push forward. I'm going to ride the car. All right, let's go ahead and get into forward. We're going to start pushing, come off the brake. There we go. So I hope your day is going well. Hope your day is having a good day. Hope you have a good day. 
looking forward. Hope we had a great weekend. By the time you guys will see this, uh, we'll be uh, done with our Memorial Day weekend. Um, spent a lot of time giving thanks to the guy, to the men and the women that sacrificed everything that they had for the freedom for me to do what I'm doing right now. Everything that I do every day, all day long, is because of them. So we got. A lot of trains. Looking at the dispatch board, got a lot of trains actually passing through the area right now. I need more though. Only got like I think there's in all of Southern California right now. There's uh, and on here in Run Eight, I have just nine nine trains that are being run by the AI, and four of those are Amtrak. So, great, I've added to Amtrak, but I don't have enough of anything else. So i got to figure out why so light. I made some I made some changes. So hopefully we get more train spawning. It was pretty cool earlier. I had a, a nice little private session for myself. And uh, passed another person. The server's up. I'm playing on the Lazy Farmer server. And passed another player. That was kind of good to see. Then I came into the West Colton Yard. And Amtrak got held up from my train. So you can make it into the yard. And then there was an intermodal that I was kind of racing down the main lines there. As they were coming in. I won that race because they were stopping for a recrew. But it's kind of nice to see that action. That extra action. Not just me running around here doing my thing. As I see fit. All right, I'm currently slightly over six miles an hour. I want to get ahead and put about ten pounds. Running slower down to about three miles an hour. Right to win. Okay, let's get down to under two. Don't come to a complete stop. I did. Let's go ahead. Boom. All right, we've got a connection. Go on the full on the brakes, and we'll get back on the ground. And I'm going to go ahead and. So some handbrakes here. So run eight, probably the best, in my humble opinion. You're going to hear me say that on this, as we go through the series. In my humble opinion, it is the best railroad simulator out there. Um, had some and some individuals actually, well, a couple of people say it has too many commands. Honestly, when it comes down to it, um, there's only me about four, five, or six that you're going to use on a consistent basis. The rest are, you know, just there in case you want to use it. There we go. Forgot to get on the attach point here. Um, if you just like, I mean, the thing about Run 8 is whatever scenario you can come up with which you can, that you can dream of, you can do. Ooh, we've got a nice little train coming in. What do we got? Intermodal. Can't see the tags on it. But this is why I like to see a little bit of life coming by, coming through. Um, as they're entering into the West Colton yard area, they're not going to be going into West Colton. West Colton not in the simulator does not handle intermodals. They are passing through. If I wanted, if I wanted uh, intermodals to be handled by West Colton, it's something that certainly can be done. Right? It's uh, very configurable. It might be a bit of a challenge, but it can be configured. Run eight runs in real time, so real life if this if this is going to take me 10 hours to do it'll take me 10 hours to do in run eight so it's uh, I mean, what that's this was a the switch there all right we're going to come to a stop listen to those bra brakes squeal all right so like i said i think I, I got this one and two cars i think i can get four so i'm going to go ahead whoops into the attach point here. Let's go ahead and 
going to go forward now. So the track we're going down heads down to the storage yard. Not, I'm oh sorry, I take that back. Storage yard is right there in front of us. That's what I was looking at. This is going into the receiving yard for GATX. Last episode, I said your normal routine would be to go to uh, the West Colton yard. Uh, uh, go into the where the bowl is at. Those cars sorted for GATX are going to go down their own track. You'd go down there, pick up the cars, bring them back here, and push the string. I had a string of 15 cars. Push the string in here into what I'm seeing right here. The, this is the receiving yard for GATX. They'll sit here for about an hour, and the industry will then change them out, change their tags from GATX to GATXL, GATXR, or... G G A T X P. Maybe I have to take a look. I'm not sure if P is part of that over here. So G A T X R is, as you can see right there, G A T X R. That is uh, the heavy repair shop. G A T X L, which is right there. That's the light repair shop. So we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Grab these next two cars, which would be for GATXR. Actually, how many cars do I have left on this one? Let me uh, I change my my plans here. Let's see how many I have left on this track. Let's see at least four tags. Ah, fifth one just picked up. Okay, so I got six cars here. Let's get on the ground. All right, I am not going to be airing these up I did like I did last time so we do we have one two three four five six cars um GATX okay I'll just take these two cars in I'm not gonna worry about bleed you know well, I'm gonna worry about I will worry about bleeding the air okay there is no air here to bleed same thing on that one. We pulled the pin. All right, let's go do reverse and do it again. Back on the touch point. We're going to go in reverse. Okay, we're going to try to go in reverse. I am in reverse. Brakes are off. Oh, you know what? I do this all the time, and I then that's actually my motto for my for my particular stream is I make the mistakes, so you don't have to. How about if I release the handbrakes? Never forget to release the handbrakes. You're not going to go very far. All right. Touch point up. All right. Now we go. Here we go. Dispatch screen. That's what the dispatch screen looks like. That's the that is uh, NSF Mojave. I'll show you where I'm at here in just a minute. Dispatch screen is not a map. You know what? I'll set it up on these days so you guys can see it, the actual map, what they look like. But the maps are available at thedepotserver.com. Give them a join. They have a lot of resources and they have a great forum with a lot of information. Tell my story about how I was finding the um, how I found Run 8. It, um, man, I've always been about trains ever since I was a little guy. Let's go ahead and get some. Go ahead and stop. All right, the ground view. 
Oh, I say these were R's. Yeah, these are R's. So same thing as before. We're just going to flip the switch here. We're just going to push. And we're going to go down the tracks we were, we were on before. I'm going to use a different key here. There we go. Attach point. And we're going to go ahead and go forward. Come off the brake. Sun setting here in West Colton. It was a busy day. We did two hours. Did a um, did a road train stream. Kind of uh, made some hardcore railroaders that like to play in uh, as realistic as possible. Uh, kind of very irritated with me a little bit, but you know it is what you you do what you got to do. Um, I was driving a Union Pacific train. But I was on Burlington, Northern Santa Fe, BNSF tracks because the start point for those trains are on tracks that don't continue from one sub to the next. So I did actually go and write that up on the forums to because been, there's been a lot of updates. We've gotten some new car packs recently. So and it'd be a simple fix to go between the, those two particular uh, between the uh, Bakersfield subdivision and the Mojave subdivision to connect them so that the Union Pacific tracks will continue on. So, and then we could do things the right way. And why they, I think, I don't know if that was done, left to be done like that on purpose or if it was just an oversight, but posting that up, I'm hoping that someone will say, hey, let's fix that. <laughs> All right, same as last time, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get on the ground. Now, the other thing I wanna do before I release from these cars, I'm gonna do on the keyboard is a right control and F8. I wanna look for these little orange dots that are sitting right here. And you can see the sign that says GATXR, these little orange dots. If the cars are sitting, they're ta if the cars are tagged for GATXR, and they're sitting on tracks that are tagged the same way. These cars will get processed. And so I just kind of wanted to make sure that I can get these cars. I can probably get one more GATX car in here. Because the last on the last dot, I don't know if you guys can see that, is right there at the tip of, the cur of my cursor. So we will go ahead. I think there's something to make it bigger. Hang on, let me see. Looking, looking, looking. Um... Uh, thought there was well I can make the text bigger I'll make it like that the dots don't really get bigger I was hoping the dots would have gotten bigger but anyway you get the point of what I was wanting to do okay so I can get one more car in here before I have to start filling up another track so we're going to go ahead and brakes are off. I'm going to go ahead and push forward just a tad. There we go. So where it says open coupler turns white, that means the tension is off the coupler. We're going to go ahead and pull back now. In reverse. And we're going to head back and go get another set of cars and do it all over again. You know what? I can run faster than that thing can move. Yes, I have my speed set for lud ludicrous speed. Little reference there to Spaceballs. All right, so if I can handle four cars, up to four cars along with this locomotive on here, then I want to see which ones I can pull. And I think I saw some some uh, cars that are. Des destined for the light repair yard. So let me pull and see what I can get.
Track speed's 15 miles an hour, indicated by my rail driver, and I was going on this point. Yeah, that would be unsafe railroad practices. Okay, well, nobody's, nobody's saying a thing. Don't report me. Alright, attach point, we're up. Let's go ahead and go forward. Off the brake here. So if you're wondering how the cars get here, I mentioned before that um, you would pick them up from the, what's called the bowl, which is where all the cars, after they've been classified, sit, after they're pushed over the hump. Well, what happens is the all the industries, the way they're configured, have a chance of sending a car to GATX, and it doesn't matter if the cars are sitting as part of BNSF or Union Pacific industry or industries that are worked by those two railroads um, if there is a chance then it would go like for BNSF it would go to the Barstow yard there it would get sorted into a train that would be destined for West Colton and then brought here all right what have I got I've got three cars right here for GATXL I got a car here for GATXL what's after this one GATXR L so I can grab this car this car and two cars here and do a string of four I'm just trying to see what's the most efficient way this side here and I have two R's okay we're gonna do that we're gonna go grab I'm gonna try to grab four cars here so we want to go down this one go straight we're set for that. Let's go ahead. Oh, actually, I'll also just run down there. So we're going to grab this car here. We're going to grab this car next. And then we're going to grab these two cars. And we're going to drag four of them over and put them over, over here where it says GATXL. So let's go ahead and... There we go. Angle it up so we can see the locomotive come in and come off the brake. And here we go. If you check out any of my live streams that have been uploaded to YouTube, uh, in there is the information for my Discord. If you want to join the Lazy Farmer um, server and come play trains, then you need to join the Discord in order to get the password. Um, we also use the Discord um, uh, for all the job tickets that need to be done. So, like this one is no is no different. It has a job ticket. I had to take it. Crew on duty, work in progress. I'll notate everything that's been done. All right. GATXL, yep, and GATXL. We're going to take this next one. Oops, there we go. All right. Okay, it's bled. Let's go ahead and we're going to go in reverse. Oh, wait, what did I, what I forget to do last time that I did this time? I forgot to take the brakes off. All right. So, and if you do wish to come play, that's fine. I mean, the servers, uh, were casual. Uh, my idea here is to come in, get used to Run 8. Don't just do road trains. Uh, take the time and do switching like this. Or, you know, don't be afraid to work a local. We just ask that, hey, you know what? If you're going to take a train and you don't have time to run it, or, you, hey, all of a sudden something comes up, we know, we get it, life gets in the way. At least stop, don't stop the train on the main line. Find a siding somewhere or go into an industry somewhere and make sure your entire train fits into that location. You're not what's sitting in the foul, like, 
all this area right in here would be considered the foul. Well, that if you tried to push a train through, you would hit another car. We don't want that either um, because it could stop and really gum up the works. Um, we also ask that, hey, you know, try to try to do it the right way. And if you're curious about what the right way is in my Discord, there is a link uh, to what is called G Core General Code of Operating Regulations, Operating Rules. It's pretty much what every railroad follows. Uh, well, in fact, that book is what every railroad follows. That is west of the Mississippi, east of the Mississippi River. It's called something else, but it's essentially the same book. Um, so if you, I mean, take time to read through that. Start operating prototypically. Um, the, the idea is, one, come here, have fun, build camaraderie with other people that are interested in railroading, whether it's real-life railroading or having a virtual model railroad. Um, you know, and, and, and hopefully if we can get you to the point where you're ready to try out for the Depot Plus server and those guys over there, they are hardcore. They are actual real railroaders. They operate their, they operate Run 8 as if it were a real railroad. All right, did I release the brakes? Double check that. Yes, I did. Okay, let's go ahead and pull back. So that's really, I mean, but other than that, it's, hey, let's have some fun. Let's play trains. You know, and you're not, you know, you're not going to break anything. I mean, worst case is if you crash a train real hard, it could crash a server. So guess what? We just reboot the server. You know, figure out figure out how many cars what what, what disappeared because it you know, most likely is what's going to happen cars and the locomotive will just disappear we'll figure out what it is put it back and let you get back on your way again um no yelling no fuss no muss we just hope you learn from it don't do it again i will say this though if you if you're doing it a lot or if you know if it, if you're suspected of doing it on purpose well, then that's where you get banned. And that stuff does happen. We are going to have some rules and some guidelines. That pretty much goes anywhere you go. All right, we're going to go in. We're going to push in and take the next two cars. And we're going to see if we can get four cars in. We should be able to, especially that one car is a little bit on the short side right there. I'm like, why are we not going? Because I didn't come off the independent brake. If you're not familiar with railroading, what is the independent brake? The independent brake is the brake that is that controls the locomotive and does not control all the brakes on all the cars. That's why it's called an independent brake. All right, that was a good hit. All right, same thing. All right, we've got two here. We'll grab these two cars. Okay, they have already been bled as well too. Normal normal process if the car is for sitting for any length of time, they will automatically bleed. So well, they'll bleed down over a period of time. They won't do it automatically, just like poof the air is gone, no. But you can also make them <coughs> pardon me. Alright, let's go in reverse. Run 8 is, I, the reason I say that Run 8 is one of the fifth, one of the best, probably the best railroad simulator out there, honestly, the physics, the physics are spot on, there's no other simulator out there that, that has the physics coefficient, I don't know if that's the word I want to look for, but yeah, basically, that's what, when this uh, Run 8 was first developed, uh, it was developed by actual railroaders. And that's exactly what they were looking for. They were looking for a true-to-life, open-world, sandbox-type simulator with the actual physics of modern-day railroading. And this, mod this simulates the era between about 1995 to 2005, right around in there. 
Um, that's why the MP15s were dropped in because they were still in operation. In fact, they're still in operation in some areas of uh, little small short line railroads, industries in and around the area. They are slowly being phased out. I mean, I know where I live here, there was a, um, a grain, grain silos uh, that actually had an MP15 uh, that they were using, and then the other day I noticed that there was a brand spanking new, fresh, freshly painted SD45 sitting there, and the MP15 was gone. So, I'm gonna come back. Eh, I want to see. I'm just gonna come back and see. I'm gonna get a good idea if I can fit another train in here. Oh, that's about a half a car right there. Let's go to the other end. Jump down to the other end, what they call EOT view. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. Not a problem. You know what? Four cars. Even if it was, even without the shorter car in here, four cars. I can get four cars easily. Okay. I'm okay with that. We're good. All right. These are going to light repair. So we got to flip that switch. Light repair is right over there. All right. And we're going to go ahead, let's push forward. We're going to push this one in, come off the brakes. Something I wanted to do in the last video and I didn't do it for you guys is I was going to do a flyover of the West Colton Yard here. Kind of give you an overview of what you get when you buy the Cajon Sub. Alright, let's see. I'm going to stop here. I want to look at the tracks. Which way I want to go. I've got two... Alright, let's see. Let's get on the ground. I have two tracks here. I've got cars there. And I'm looking for the orange dot. It's right there, but I, oh, there's one right there. And there's one right there. All right. What I'm going to do is a little. I'm going to. So I can barely see them. I'm looking for... i got to find a key command because it's not on my rail driver. So we're going to go M-O-W. I forgot what. I think it's F6. You know what? I think it is now that I think about it. Yes, F F6. So what I'm actually going to do, I can put down a red fusey or flare, uh, black and yellow marker, whatever. I want to put down a, you know, a little flag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop a yellow flag right where I'm standing. There it is, but I got it facing the wrong way. I just realized that. All right, so we're going to delete the MOW object. We're going to face this way, which is right, if I can find it. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the spot where the orange dots stop. There's one right there. I could have swore I saw one up here. They're getting hard to see in this light. Yeah, it's right there. There's the last one. There it is. Can't really see it, but it's right there. All right, good enough. So I'm going to drop MOW flag. Oh, let me face the other way. There we go. And I'm dropping a sign right there. That way I know where this this one stops. I might do that on these other ones too. Not exactly what the MOW flag is used for. Right there. I guess right there. Nope, that wasn't it. It's right here. 
There we go. Close enough. Close enough for railroad work. All right, so that way I just know. I can put as many cars in there as long as I don't go past that yellow sign. Truth is, I can go past it, but as long as some part of the car is past that sign, that car will get worked. All right, so now that I know about that, I'll make that easier. All right, let's go ahead and push in. Waiting for the brakes to release. The brakes are operated by air, so I'm just waiting for them to release. See, now by putting those signs down, I don't need to have the tags on. Do whatever you want. It's your model railroad. slowly come up off the brakes about one yeah just under two miles an hour that'll be a good touch and we're in awesome all right down on the ground and brake and brake Coupler. So it looks like I could get eh, probably two more cars on this track before I would go fill up the other one. So, alright, attach point. Let's go ahead and pull back and do it again. There we go. Normally would do three. Maybe you can get a bell in there. We're moving, but. That's part of actual railroading. You do have to do that for safety for safety reasons. And if you want to play that way, you can. Three blasts on the horn to reverse. Well, I just realized I'm talking like a tour guide at Disneyland. Why? I haven't been there in years. search for, well, I didn't want to try, I wanted, wanting my own model railroad, and ever since I was a kid, I told the story earlier about what happened with all my N-gauge stuff, and, well, yeah, I'm just going to let it go with that, so, anyway, um, Kind of let it go. Then I would start, you know, reading Model Railroader magazine again. Start dreaming of my of a model railroad. And life always seemed to get in the way, so I'm like, okay, there's got to be a virtual model railroad out there. And at this point, I was really into computers, starting to play video games, and I had seen that there, you know, at one time before the, you know, before I really started thinking again, that Microsoft had put out a train simulator. And Okay, well, if, micro, if it's anything like Microsoft's Flight Simulator, uh, you know it's going to be good. I, I want it. I'm going to go find it. You know, time enough time's gone by. There's probably a you know Train Simulator two or three. No, that was not the case. I, when I in my search for it, uh, discovered that Microsoft's MSTS, Microsoft's. Oh, I was going to. Huh. MSTS. I had to stop because all of a sudden MSTS when I thinking of made me think of Mystery Science Theater 3000. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, no. It, uh, looking for the 
train simulator found out that it was no longer in production and that, you know, my, uh, Train Sim 2 from Microsoft was, had been shit. Well, no, it didn't get shelled. It got thrown in the trash can. So a little bit disheartening. So I started doing searches and I went, see, I went to Twitch and YouTube doing the searches there. Just started typing in Train Simulator and I started seeing things like, you know, Train Sim World 1, 2, Classic, you know, Sim Rail, various different ones. What have I got here, guys? There's a light duty one there. Whoa, I want the brakes, brakes, brakes. Okay. Uh, let me get on the brakes here for a second. I'm gonna figure this one out. But I'm here. Um, so that's L with an L at the end. Two R's. That's an R, and that's an R. So I'm going to pull three cars over here that with a JTXL and the two R's. Grab this car, grab this car, and then I'm going to shove... Let's see, what's actually... I think I'll take the JTXL and kick it toward this one. And then I'll grab the four R's and take them down. We'll start filling up another track over there. All right, got a plan. So anyway, going back to the search for the train simulator, um, yeah, I started, um, you know, looking into what else was out there, Twitch, YouTube, and wow, everything, everything looked great. I want to repeat, it looked great. But that's about as far as it went because every single one that I looked at I know what I do, I'm going to repeat, I'm going to do something a little different, that's an R, that's an R, that's an L. Okay, I'm going to kick this other L down to this one over here, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, backing up, oh wait, okay, handbrake's off, right, off, 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 and this one needs to be released. Okay, and let's make sure that one is applied and should not be up against the bumper. No, okay, we got room for the kick. Perfect. So, yeah, like I said, they all look great, but when I really start diving into them, uh, it just... They honestly, they were all scenario based. So, which means that you're going to jump in a train and you're going to leave point A, you're going to head toward point B, and you need to get there in a certain amount of time or, you know, do something accurately. And then when you're done, hey, the scenario is over, you get this many points, you win, you lose, you know, things like that. It just, it doesn't continue. It didn't continue. And I do not know who it was that mentioned it. But I'm glad they did. And one of the videos, and I believe it was in, on YouTube, in the comments section, one person just happened to say, um, this is a nice simulator but it's no run 8. I went, what's run 8? Never heard of run 8. Never, I mean, all my searches for train simulators, run 8 never showed up. And uh, let's see if we can get this done here. We're going to go ahead, come off the brakes. You guys going to clear? Hopefully, because this is slightly uphill. Now, you go kick a car like this. Make sure your cars are bled. They have no brakes. And as long as it does, as long as it goes, 
And we'll see. I'm going to stand here. As long as it goes past where I'm at right here, it'll be a good kick. And it looks like it is. So anyway, yeah. And so I started looking at, run, you know, went looking for Run 8. Found it. Found YouTube videos out there on Run 8. And the angels sang. Wah! It's... The scenario thing was not there. But it is. So, and when I say that, I mean, like today, for an example, if I'm going to take a train, I'm going from point A to point B, which in this case was going from the Mojave, out by the Mojave Yard, and coming here to West Colton. Okay, so that's my... Actually, I want to get in quiet breaks. So i got to pull in a little bit here. Release the coupler. Oh, come off the brakes, idiot. So that was my scenario today that I created for myself. Okay. Well, now that train is sitting in the yard here, and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. That train's sitting in the yard here at West Colton. The scenario is not done. So now, next next part of the scenario is I get to pull, you know, strip the locomotives off. Get them over to the engine shop for service. And then put some hump yard locomotives on the end of it. And push the cars over the hump into the bowl. You're going to see all that. In fact, I'll probably go kick this one car here. And probably stop and we'll go talk about that. Because i only got about 14 minutes left of the stream. And it'll go by fast. Alright, so brakes are released. Pin's been pulled. Switch has been thrown. Here we go. Let's go ahead and kick it. clear of the switch so I can go ahead here and I can go ahead and go in and I got one two three for GATXR we'll just grab these three or at least I'll come up and hook up to them and then we'll go over and we'll, we'll take a fly over the yard and we'll show you the yard and what I'm talking about in that scenario um, so basically the scenario is what I create you know um, in some cases, I saw scenarios, oh, switch these cars out and do it in this time. Okay, well, there's no time frame here. I'm just switching these cars out because I want to switch the cars out. They need to be switched out. But the scenario will continue. Once I switch the cars out, they're going to do what I call, they'll turn. They'll get different tags on them. And they'll have to go and be sorted again. Some of them will go over into the West, West Colton yard to be put into trains to go to different locations, either in the map or off, you know, off map, other parts of, to other cities, other yards. And then we'll go do it again. We'll get some cars, more trains coming in. It's constant. It's a true flow. Go ahead and set the handbrake on the locomotive. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Headlights off. Into neutral. Handbrake set. Whoop, handbrake release. Handbrake set on the entire, everything that's connected to it. All right. Let's go do a flyover. we got about 10 minutes left. And that's just probably just enough time here. So I'm going to get into fly mode, or what I call drone mode. And up, and we'll get a bird's eye view. So, anyway, this is the tracks coming into the yard. This is the GATX facility. What we see right here, and I'm going to fly toward it, is the actual departure yard. So, trains, after they've been sorted and classified in the hump, will, you pull, you will pull them out using trim locomotives, which we got a pair sitting right here. Oh, let me release. Relinquish my last train. So, we've got trim one. There's another set of trim locomotives somewhere around here. Um, but anyway, 
these cars were pulled out of the bowl, pulled back, you know, and pulled into here, and they'll get sorted again. Might have to use the R lead, and we can fill these up into. We have trains that are all pretty much going in the same direction. Um, LB is Long Beach. That's uh, the two-letter code for from Union Pacific for Long Beach. Um, and I'm not sure Anaheim. Maybe I don't know. I have to go look it up. But uh, this is an interesting. Whoop, hang on. This is an interesting tag right here. B A R S T O. That's Stockton, but that B A R is Barstow. That's B N S F. So these are cars here. Here's uh, B A R Watson. W A T is Watson, which is down in Southern California by San Diego. Um, Pasco, Washington. That's what P A S is. So these cars are actually going to be going. Once this train is built, they will actually head to, um, hang on, there we go, back up. I gotta get, I might have to turn off Luger because speed. There we go. So we're looking at a weight of almost 45, 45, 4,600 tons. Train length is only three, just shy of 3,000 feet. This train's not long enough yet. So we can probably get another cut of cars. Two strings like that together going to Barstow. And then this train will head to Barstow. Um, all right, so over here, engine shop. So engine repair, engine storage. All this goes in this area here. This actually will be something that will come in and clean up. I might actually do a little one-hour recording of me just cleaning up all these locomotives, getting them out of here, getting them sorted, and putting them over here in the locomotive storage area so that when I need a locomotive for these trains for the departure yard. I can just pull them right from here. Um, and then clean this up because these are all locomotives that need to go into store to go into the service and they get serviced and then they get put into storage. So there's a process there. It's all simulated. If you want to do it that way you can. If not, you don't have to. Over here on the right, this is the bowl. So cars that get pushed over the hump will get will come down and get sorted down into this bowl based upon their death their tags. So we have some interesting tags here. Um, I need to find out what the thought process is from the guy who came up with this particular tag, but BAR and FRS, that's Fresno. So this car is going to go, this string of cars will go to Barstow, so it'll get tied to that other string I was just showing you. Head to Fresno, and then once it's in Fresno, it'll be either on the local number 313, that end, or the local number that ends in 313, or the one that ends in 316, and go to either KIN or TKI. I'm trying to. I'm wondering why two different industries on one car, uh, as opposed to the car actually being delivered to one industry because that's what the industry called for. NP is North Platte. That's a Union Pacific tag. RO is um, that's up in Washington. I can't think. I want to say Rosemont, but I'm not 100% sure. RV would be like over here. That's Roseville. That's Sacramento area. Um, and then we have MJ, which MJ is Mojave. So these all, these cars are all going to Mojave Yard, which is part of the Run 8 maps here in Southern California. So these are all, and if there's no tag there, that's actually a local, that'll be a local that runs out of Mojave. Um, West Colton, WCS is West Colton Sand, so there's a place for West Colton Sand to go. Somewhere over there, somewhere. So anyway, this is the top of the hump right here. So these are your hump. These are your hump locomotives. They push the, string, the strings of cars over, and this is an automatic process that, if, based upon the tags on the rail cars, they will actually get sorted. Pins get pulled, and it'll go down into the bowl. It's kind of, kind of, kind of cathartic to sit here and watch it. One of these days, you guys will get to see it in these little recordings. All right, and then. Incoming tracks are right here, and then these are all the receiving tracks. This is the receiving yard, and this is the train that I brought in late, earlier today. It literally took me probably about six hours to get from Mojave to here to get them in. And you'll see as I fly down pretty much how long this train was. There is the tag. It is, it's an M means manifest, RV is, uh, is from Roseville, West Colton. So really, uh, this is what I was saying on the dispatch screen that it would have normally come in on this track right here and come on up and go here Union Pacific 2 Bakersfield 
and then get moved over to the Mojave Yard. Here's Bakersfield. This is the Bakersfield right here, so it would come in right, right here. Well, this track right here stops, and this track right here stops. They're, they're not connected, even when you buy... And there are two separate subdivisions. You buy them separately. Even when you do and put them in, they're not connected. Personally, I think it might be an oversight. They might have forgotten about it. Um, but I do. I will tell you this. Maybe they haven't forgotten about it because right here, I went and looked at it today, and I noticed this roadbed going out. So the intention was to actually bring it out and connect it to the other subdivision. And hopefully, maybe, my, I'm hoping, maybe I have my... Uh, my question on the forums will, you know, spur somebody on. Like, hey, let's get that connected so we can do it the right way. Otherwise, it was start to train right here on BNSF tracks and end up coming down all along this way. Coming in here, coming up, and that's, we did it. Made the trip all the way down. Once we're here, we're back on Union Pacific Rails. Come down here into Cajon, and then we come this way, it's kind of confusing, and then down into the receiving yard, and that's what I did. So that was the trip I made today. Um, that was after my two-hour morning stream on Saturday, and then I did that, hung out with some guys on the server, and just had a good old time. I mean, you can, I mean, if you got nothing to do for an entire day, you can spend an entire day doing your own little scenarios, to or try to accomplish whatever it is you want to accomplish, not what some developer wants you to accomplish. And that's my, that's my key point, is that you're doing what you want to accomplish, not what a developer wants to accomplish. So it's, uh, and I mean, and graphically, it's not bad. I mean, it may not be as flashy as others. They give you just enough to get, you know, give you the idea, okay, yeah, here's a little community right next to the rail yards. Not sure I'd buy that house, but anyway. Um, so, and we'll go. Give, we'll do a flyby one of these days over there at the Barstow Yard, so you can see what it looks like. It's pretty much the same process, but it is set up a little bit differently. Kind of debatable which one's bigger. So, which one? I know. I, well, what am I doing here? Engineer. I don't want engineer view. I want ground view. There we go. So, anyway, we're gonna go ahead. I'm gonna save right here. So, well, I was saying in the last video, same thing. You want to get started um, playing Run 8, you need the base game, which gives you needles. It gives you, um, I'm sorry. Boy, hang on. I'm going to give it to you. I'll show you. It will give you the Mojave sub. This is the Mojave sub. So this representation on this dispatch screen is not a map, but this is, um, you get, basically, I'm going to tell you, you get all this area. And then part, this is the Barstow Yard, and the main line's going through it, and then the UP Yermo Yard right here. Uh, this is actually considered to be, even though it says Mojave Sub, this is actually considered to be part of the Mojave Sub. And then after Barstow Yard, you get the Needle Sub. So all three of those. And that's a lot of railroad. That's like 80 miles, almost 100 miles of railroad. Uh, there are industries all along here. Mostly this is mainline road train service, but you got some industries in this area, industries in this area. You've got the same thing I was showing you on West Colton. You're going to have the hump yard. you got departure tracks, receiving yards. You have a rather large Yermo yard, but it's flat switching. It's not a hump yard. It's not a classification yard. We'll just put it that way. But there's some industries in here. There's some industries along here and then you get the Mojave sub and when you come down the Mojave sub um, doing BNSF there right here at Boron there's some industries there are some industries right here that affect Edwards Air Force Base is right there you serve that um, so there's a lot that you can do um, in just the base game and then you can add on to it add on the car packs that you get that you any car pack that you want so it's expandable um, you can be like me, jump in with both feet. <laughs> um, like my buddy Robert, jump in with both feet. Did the same thing too. He started playing. He goes, that's it. I'm buying it. Good for you, Robert. Um, so other than that, that's it. That's the, the end of this hour, second episode 
of working industries. We're still not done. I'll, I'll probably come back tomorrow. I don't want to do it in the evening. I will come back on in the morning, and we'll get another hour. I think we probably buy, probably have about another hour, if I'm a little more efficient, of getting these cars sorted and into their proper areas. Also, the server is going to be up and running over the night, so this, the, the clock will be ticking on the cars we sorted. So we may have cars that ha that'll be re-tagged. We I will see. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If we do, you'll see that process, and we'll con continue working these cars until we're done working these cars, because I have nothing else over in GATX at this time. Um, so then we're going to go find some other industries to go work, and we'll go from there. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me once again. My name is Kurt H. I am the Lazy Farmer. I hope you enjoyed this, and as always, if you like the content that I'm providing, please click the subscribe button and give me the thumbs up and hit the notification bell so you know when I stream next. Every Saturday morning, usually hit or miss. I try to do it about 6 o'clock in the morning Pacific time to catch the early risers over on the East Coast as well, too. Um, and we'll go from there. Otherwise, um, I will see you next time and hopefully see you on my server playing Run 8. Have a good evening.